Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Over here in the middle of the bay, there's a lot of good reefs to fish. Um, you know, some of these reefs are in four to five foot of water, um, but if you come in here, what I've been doing is just making long drifts. Sometimes I'll put the trolling motor down, but this is a calm, uh, calm day fishing. You know, you don't want to come in here and fish it on a windy day. It's just like Oso. Uh, Nueces Bay gets real torn up and chocolatey when it's blowing real hard. So uh, fish these reefs, get in here. You can see a lot of neat things. Mark all sides of the reef, but there, you're gonna always fish the windy side of the reef. That's what's gonna be blowing the bait up against it. Uh, my bait of choice has been the uh, live shrimp when I can find it. You know, you kinda gotta call around and, and see who has it. Um, but now that we've got some new shrimp boats in, uh, it's going to be uh, more readily available uh, right in here along these reefs. Um, you know, there's a lot of little targets to fish, so you'll get good mixed bags, trout, reds, and drum. Over here downtown by the Lexington and the Tea Head Rocks, been seeing a lot of sheep's head, black drum, uh, getting a few trout in here. I like coming over here when it's nice and calm so I don't get beat up. Uh, you can put in over at the Nueces Bay ramp uh, and there is a spot to put in here back um, over here by the uh, tea heads but uh, still you know it, it's a calm day thing you know come in here fish both sides inside and out fish the gaps live shrimp cut crab um, throw lures on a nice calm day when that trout trout green water is in here and uh, you'll get uh, sheep's head black drum and some good keeper trout back here in the back of the bay but still out in the middle these reefs here have been holding good fish I know I've talked about them before in some of my previous reports but I typically talk about these reefs when the tides are low and those fish aren't way way back in the back in that super skinny water uh, it kind of brings the fish out this is also a good spot with its proximity to the mouth of the river um, this is a good stopping ground for those fish coming out or coming down that shoreline they come out here and hang on these reefs um, this one right here this little it's like a half moon reef has been really good because um, that wind blows in there and kind of concentrates those fish in the inside of that half moon uh, especially when it's uh, blowing out of the north um, again you don't want to come over here on a real windy day uh, but on that calmer day you can see these reefs the water clears up as you can see on the map this spot is typically a cleaner area so you're gonna find a little bit greener water but don't come in here on a real windy day. Captain Grant Coppin, thanks for watching.